his praises shall continually be in my mouth. Yeah. My soul shall make her boast in the Lord. The humble shall hear there and be glad. Come on, Hallelujah. The Lord with me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hallelujah. Yeah. 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 Yeah.
therefore, Paul said that we are endeavoring or working to keep that unity of the spirit through the bond, the glue of peace. Praise God. Praise God. Amen. Praise so there's no happenstance that on the day of Pentecost, the people were in one place at one time yes. with one accord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. So your adversary don't want us with one accord. Amen. Say that. We know that we have a bottom line, a common denominator that we all agree that sets us on one accord that Jesus is Lord. Say Hallelujah. That. Hallelujah. Praise God. Somebody give God a hand clap and we recognize that Jesus is Lord. Amen. So as we're endeavoring and working to keep the union of the Spirit in a bond of peace. Amen. Let us go to God in prayer. Hallelujah. Dear Heavenly Father, we come to you and we thank you again for allowing us to come to you to recognize you as King of Kings and Lord of Lords, the Alpha, the Omega, the beginning, the end, the first, and the last. Come on. The lily of the valley, the bright and morning star. The rose of Sharon, we thank you right now, Father God. We know you as Jehovah Jireh, the God who provides. Jehovah Shalom, the God of peace. Yes. Jehovah Nisi, the God of victory. Hallelujah. We thank you that you allow us to know these things, Father God, and to stand on these truths. Mm -hmm. We come to you right now asking you to forgive us for our trespasses, mm -hmm. our thoughts, our words, our deeds, the things that we do that do not please you. Yes. We continually ask you to be creating us a clean heart yes. and renew a right spirit, your Holy Spirit within us. Help us to be all that you would have us to be and enable us to do the thing that you have anointed and appointed mm -hmm. each and every one yes, of us Lord. to do. I pray right now, Father God, that you would anoint these lips of clay, mm -hmm. that they may be your very oracle, and that we that have ears will all hear what your Holy Spirit is saying yes, on yes, today, yes. Hallelujah. each and every day as we continually pray for souls to be saved, lives to be changed, your Holy Spirit set free in our lives, broken relationships restored, mm. prison doors open, yes. bodies healed. Yes. Finances in abundance. Hallelujah. Not by our might, nor yeah. by our power, but by your Holy, Holy Spirit, Spirit, who will be careful in all that we do, Amen. that all glory, honor, and praise yes. come back to you. Yes. Father God, we continue to lift up the bereaved families all yes. over the land. Lord. For you say, yes. Blessed are they that mourn, for they shall mm. comfort. Mm. So we thank you for the comfort, the presence of your Holy Spirit. And we continue to pray mm. for peace as we pray for kings and priests and rulers and senators and congressmen and representatives and just all people in parliaments, wherever they are all over the world, we pray for the leadership, Father God, mm -hmm. right down to the leadership in the home, Father yeah, God, yeah, yeah. in the schools, Father God, that we might live a quiet and peaceable life in true godliness and holiness. Mm. So we know you desire all men to be saved and come to the knowledge of the truth. So we thank you that we know these truths, Father God. So we continue to lift up the children, for we recognize that they are the future. Yes, Lord. Help us to train them up in the way that they should go, Father yes. God. Protect them while school is out, mm. Father God. Yes, Keep their minds stayed even yes, then yes, on yes, education, yes, yes. Father Hallelujah. God. And we thank you right now, thank Father you. God. Continue to watch over the parents, the mm. teachers, yes. even those that go to summer school. Just continue to bless mm. all of our going outs and all of our coming in. We take you up on your word, so we say thank you. Thank you. As we pray for a spirit of unity and a bond of peace, we pray the prayer that you gave us to pray. Let us pray together. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation. But deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever. Amen. Amen. Praise, God. praise God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. The highest praise that I know. Hallelujah. Amen. Let everything that has breath praise, praise the Lord. Lord. Praise ye the Lord. You praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. So again, we thank God for this first Sunday in the yeah. month of June. Yeah. 2022 of our Lord. Amen. Yeah, yeah. So we do thank God for June birthday. Yes, amen. Lord. Amen. 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 We thank God for each and every one. We thank God for another day's journey. Mm. If the Lord says the same, amen, we'll present you uh, uh, 
some and introduce to all. Amen. My wife, my helpmate. Amen. Patricia James, first lady here at Open Door Ministry. And she might come forth with a few words of encouragement. Praise God. Praise God. God. Like we always do about this time. Amen. Amen. How many know the joy of the Lord is your strength? Amen. 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 Through the spirit of love and then joy. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. I just feel some kind of joy on today. Hallelujah. And I thank God. Amen. I woke up with it this morning. Amen. Amen. And it's just been all over me. So uh, again, y'all continue to pray for me. Amen. Amen. Because we know the seriousness of the matter. Praise God. But I still feel joy on today. Hallelujah. In the midst of all that's going on. Mm. I know the Lord is, is our shepherd. Amen. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He yeah. will yeah. see us through. Amen. Yeah. It's not that we're not going through. Amen. But we know even when we're going through the valley, mm -hmm. he's right there with us. Praise God. Praise Amen. God. The Lord said the same. I'm bringing forth Sister James with a word of encouragement. God bless you. Church, amen. 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 Praise amen. God. Praise God. Amen. Hallelujah. Woo -wee. God, you're so good and so grateful and so merciful. Amen. But you got to still know you were fighting for me. Hallelujah. You got to know God is still fighting in your behalf. He loves you too much amen. to give up. Amen. So I just want to say thank you thank for keeping me when I could not keep myself. So I just. I'm honored to be able to come before you this morning because someone did not wake up. So, God, I just want to say thank you, thank you. for being God all by yourself. Thank you for giving us another opportunity to share because I'm telling you, you definitely were fighting for it. Amen. If God wasn't Amen. fighting for you, what would you do? Mm. So he got your back. I just want to say the main thing is that can't nobody take nothing from you Amen. because you were sapping. Can no one take anything from you? Because two reasons. You the child of the king, the high king. So can't nobody take nothing from you. You have to hand it over. So that's not hand. God gave you everything you need, and He's gonna keep blessing you. Mm -hmm. He have not forgotten. So I just say, you know, we're not in control. God is. So mm -hmm. I'm telling you, we was born rich, Hallelujah. but then we start playing with the adversary and letting him kick kick in. God gave us everything we need because you see how good he did. He didn't put our ears on our feet and our feet on our ears. He covered us by his blood. He put everything in order like it should be. Amen. He loves us too much to give up. Amen. So I'm reminding you, don't you give up. Amen. Do not give up. God got something mm. for you. You got to know God loves you too much to give up on you. And you're going to have some haters. Shake them off. Amen. Push them off and say, God, I'm here. I'm here to stand because I'm worth fighting for it. Because God, we were fighting for God. Got yes, a plan for our life. It ain't physical fight. It's spiritual realm fight, baby. So what I'm reminding you is that stay strong. Because you know what? Sometimes people enjoy when you fall, but you got to keep your joy. Because you know what? You might be the only God people see. Amen. You think God. Because they don't know God. But when they see your action and your personality and your full of energy and your love for God, they say... Who is that? They don't know because God, have, he's so awesome and so grateful to us. He wants the best for us. Mm. Sometimes we get, and I tell people all the time, sometimes people come in our life and start pulling us and ain't treating us right. You got to say, okay, God, no weapon for me because we're going to prosper. Amen. Because let me tell you something. When you a child of the king, you have nothing to worry about. Come on, come on, come on. You Abraham, son and daughter, you got nothing to worry about. Amen. Everything you want, everything you got, you call on God. God said, you got to hear that little whisper in your ear. Say, you know what? It's time to be still. So I can hear you. See, sometimes, especially me, I rush around. Sometimes we rush around so, and we be running and moving, and, and we don't even realize why we running and moving and rushing around. God got so much for you. God said, be still so you can hear that little whisper in your, in, in your ear. And you be saying, you have something that happened in your life and you be saying, I did this before. Mm -hmm. I've been here before. Say we did all this before. You know, in your mind, because you know what? God is talking to you, speaking to your spirit. Just hold up. I got you. Some things we feel like we can't do, but you can do. Because you know what? God created you and he made you the best. He wants the best for you. He wants you to stay encouraged. 
I know we could, I could just, everything around us, we kind of like have a shaking and going through and stressing us out. Mm -hmm. But you got to know the God we serve, he wants you being all stressed out. He wants you being all mentally beat up. God wants you to say, I got, I surrendered all to you. And let God deal with it. Because you know what? I tell anybody, as a mom and as a parent, it's overwhelming. But the only thing saves you is the book of God. The word of God, the God's word in that in that Bible. You say, okay, it ain't going to hurt us. We're going gonna to go through a little bit. Sometimes we fall down and get up. And also, sometimes we fall down and God just put us down so you can hear from him. We can hear from him. Sometimes we be so high we can't hear. But you get down low. Have you ever been down so sick and feeling so bad you kind of in a fetal position? And the first thing you see, we say, God, I don't understand. I, I, I feel terrible. I feel bad. God, help me. You know? And God, you be saying, then you start saying, God, I confess. God, whatever I done wasn't right. God, please forgive me. Whatever I said wasn't right. God, if I hurt somebody, it wasn't right. God, God, forgive me. God, I'm sorry. God, I'm repentant before you right now. God, I don't understand something. I did things in my ignorance. Sometimes I did things in not knowing it. Some things I did know it. So God, forgive me for that. Because God, I don't want that con I don't want that burden on my conscience. God, I, 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 please touch the people that I have misheard it or say anything to. Ask me to forgive me. If I bad mouth, God, ask me, God, forgive me. And then I just, when you look up, you went to sleep and you wake up. And you be like, I feel a little better. You got all that repenting, all that stuff out of you. So God said, now I can work with you, man. What will you do? So I'm just saying, you never know nobody's story. But we all have one. So I'm just reminding you, you got to be true to yourself. Amen. And the main thing, you got to love God so God can love you even harder. Mm -hmm. So I'll be reminding you on the day, surrender it all to God. When you hear the word, let it place it in your heart. You know what? We walk, we walk boldly for God. God said, if you ain't got no money, you ain't got nothing, still walk with your head up. Hallelujah. Don't walk with, still, I don't care, I ain't got no money, I ain't got nothing, but God, I'm still walking with my head up. Amen. You know what? I just know because he said, walk up right before him, walk with your head up. Amen. Don't walk defeated. You my daughter. You my son. I want the best for you. Amen. Hold your head up. I love you too much. And you be thinking, Lord, who I've been through, God, God said, uh-uh. Don't claim that. That's the old you. This new you, you ain't going to be going through like that. Because sometimes we go through stuff in our life, we're like, ooh, Lord, I'm glad you pulled me out of that. And sometimes you be in a situation, you say, Lord, if you bless me out of this one, I promise you I won't. I, I do the right thing, God. I serve you, God. I'm going to show up. I'm going to do what I need to do, God. I'm going to do everything I can pay my tax, God. I'm going to surrender it all to yes. you if you just do what you need to do. I've been there. And I was just going, I've been there. So everybody don't know your story, but I've been to a point in my life that I said, God, it's me standing in need of prayer. It ain't my sister, it ain't my brother, it ain't my kids, it's me, God. So you got to know in your, in, your, in your right mind and in your heart that God ain't going to put no more in you, you can bear. But I'm telling you, when you call on him for yourself, yeah. when you wake up, you, girl, I've been there, I was telling I probably told you, but I... And asthma, and I was so short of breath, I could not make it no further than where I was at. And I was the only one up, and I was like, Lord, I was trying to get to get something to help me, get my inhaler. And I was like, Lord. And I was sitting on the steps, and I was praying. And I threw up, I said, Lord, I kept thinking, Lord, I can't panic. Because I get panicked, you lose more breath. I said, Lord, God, you got to help me, God. And I just laid on my face and just started crying out, telling him, thank you. And I woke up, and I could just, I didn't get, I, I, how good he is. He said, if you just call me, I hear your voice, you my daughter. So I've been, that, I've been in situations that I know how to praise him. I know how to thank him. I know what I've been through and I didn't go through on my own. On. I know when he take me through stuff. Sometimes the God will cut, say, hold up. And you would say, God, I come, I've been doing everything right. But I don't want you to get into that flood of life. I, I, I want you to stop right here. Because I got something better for you. I don't want you to have to try to figure out what's going on. I want you to see it from the out. I want you to look out. Be in and looking out. I don't want you to be out there trying to look back in. So I am going to say thank you because I've been there and I know how good he is. He won't stop. He ain't going to stop. And whatever you want from him, claim it. Claim it. You just got to claim it. 
I tell you, I claim it. I tell God, God every time. I said, God, I thank you. I, I plant a seed, and I said, God, make this seed manifest because you know my need. I ain't got to say nothing else. I call it a seed because it ain't enough, it ain't enough to do nothing with. God says, share. And if, if you share it, it'll come back to you. And I'm telling you, things will come back to you in your life. I've been there. I know. But I'm saying I'm grateful. I'm so grateful to God because God is so good and so merciful. And he would not for, he ain't forgot you. So what I'm going to say to you, give God all yours because he got you covered by the blood. Amen. 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 Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Amen. Good God. Yes, he is. Hallelujah. ready for a few words of encouragement. Amen. Amen. I got quite a bit. Uh, uh, thanks again. Uh, Amen. I've been Amen. thanking Amen. Lord for His Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. Bless Praise God. God. Thank you. We got we got a lot to grab hold on. Yes. To Hallelujah. He's a good God. Prepare for the Word of God. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Amen. 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 As you were speaking, I, I, I heard a scripture that said that the Lord is a sun and a shield, mm -hmm. and it said no good thing will He withhold. From those that walk uprightly right before him. Yeah, that's what he said. So she was saying, keep, keep some mm -hmm. God in your stride. Uh -huh. Keep some God in your stride. Amen. 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 Hallelujah. Some, some Jesus yes. in your hip. Amen. And some Holy Spirit in your strut. Praise <laughs> God. Praise <laughs> God. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. <laughs> amen. He said, no good thing will he will hope they yes. can walk uprightly before him. Amen. Uh -huh. Then I heard mm -hmm. you say, amen, the, the, the way up and God is down. Amen. Uh -huh. He said, when that's your lowest, you got even lower. Amen. Yeah. amen. amen. God on your face. Praise God. Praise God. And God give you that peace that passes all God understanding. See, see, God's ways are not our ways and his thoughts are not our thoughts. Amen. Right. The way up in God is standing. Humble on. yourself under the mighty hand of God and he will exalt you. He'll raise you up. He'll lift you up. Amen. Amen. In due season. Amen. Praise God. Hallelujah. Amen. He ain't going to let you go through too long. Amen. 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 And Jesus said, this too shall pass. Hallelujah. So we thank God. Amen. He said, peace. You got to know it. Amen. Thank you. I think that's what God told Matt most to command him. Be still and see the salvation of the Lord. See the saving power of the Lord. Be still and know that he is God. Hallelujah. Amen. That's what he said. The said, God is in the midst of her. She shall not be moved. God shall help her. Yes. And that right her. Amen. So we thank God. I, again, I thank God for the words of encouragement. I, I'm encouraged myself. Amen. Maybe I need that for myself each and every Sunday before I come up here with the word. Of, the preacher need to be encouraged too. Amen. Yes. <coughs> Praise God. Amen. And y'all encourage me. I'm telling yes. you, the look on your face is encouraging me right now. Yes. Hallelujah. I, I think I can go now. I'm praying. Go now. Come on. I was saying that the joy of the Lord is your strength. Yes. Amen. Hallelujah. Ooh, the spirit of love and joy. Yes. Hallelujah. Yes. Amen. And I, I love the joy that I see yeah. that yeah. I feel right now Amen. that the world didn't give. Amen. It's come from the saints. The spirit in the, the atmosphere in this room right now. Amen. Holy Spirit, praise God. praise God. So I tell you, I'm thanking God. Amen. Even for those that, that are with us on social media on today. But we know that since the pandemic, we've been doing some things differently. Praise God. Praise God. And I tell you, it's a blessing and pressing your way to the household of faith. And we still, there's still some pressure our way. So their way. So we still pray and travel in mercy. Amen. 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 So we thank God. Amen. I, I pray that he, for those that have not been baptized, and I'm, I'm just doing a, a little break right now. If you have been baptized, amen, at some point you're going to have to make your way out to the household of faith somewhere where the, where the word of God is being preached in spirit uh -huh. and in truth, amen, that if the Lord says the same, you can be baptized, amen. amen. Praise God. And we thank God we can do that right here at the Holy Day and Express and, uh, uh uh, 121 South 71 Highway in Grandview, Missouri. Mm. The door is open. Jesus Come on the door. Amen. Yes, the first act of obedience after you receive Jesus, your Lord and Savior, is to be baptized. Come amen. On, so Hallelujah. The the same. Praise God. Amen. Somebody that accepted the Lord. Amen. But they still find themselves sitting at home and say, but well, I know I need to be baptized. That still small voice that I, I heard Sister Pat up here talking about. Wow. And saying, well, you know, you still might want to be baptized. Amen. 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 I want you to know that the door is open. Hallelujah. Praise God. Hallelujah. Here at Open Door Ministries and there are many other churches. Amen. So we're praying for churches right now since the pandemic. Praise yes. God. Yes. And we thank God for those that have the faith to know 
Amen. Amen. That it's okay to go to the household of faith. Yes. Amen. Mm -hmm. I'm going everywhere else I need to go. It's Come okay on. to come into the household of faith too. Amen. I should be ready to go there first. Amen. Amen. First of all and foremost, the devil is a liar. Amen. Amen. Praise God. Praise God. Somebody praise, praise God. God. Praise God. God. Amen. We're going to have to start church. I'm going to run through this word kind of fast here in the name of Jesus. In the name Amen. of Jesus. Amen. I'm going to take my time. I'm going to hurry up and take my time. Amen. Hallelujah. See y'all with me. Amen. 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 Praise God. Second Corinthians chapter 4. And, uh, Sister Pat didn't know, but she kind of touched on our, our theme on today. Oh. Amen. Because uh, I heard her saying, uh, don't give up or something like that. She was saying up here, don't give in. Amen. Second Corinthians chapter 4. Oh. And I'm in the New Living Translation of the Bible to make it a little more plain. Hallelujah. So we can run a little faster. Amen. Come on. And the title in uh, uh, Second Corinthians chapter 4 in the New Living Translation of the Bible is uh, treasure in fragile clay jars. Mm. Amen. Mm -hmm. We have this treasure of God. Mm -hmm. and, and it is a treasure. Amen. Amen. Jesus is a treasure. And we have this treasure, the power of the Holy Spirit in these fragile clay jars. Mm -hmm. The reason said that is because we are earthen vessels. God created us from the dust. Mm -hmm. Amen. And we know we make clay from dirt and, and water. Uh -huh. Amen. Uh -huh. Amen. But we have this treasure in these fragile clay jars. These bodies are so fragile, but they contain so much power. Lord. They contain so much power. Hallelujah. Only God can put that much power oh, in something this fragile. Lord, this is the Lord yeah. doing. I tell you, he never ceases to amaze me. Yes, amen. Man. Amen. Amen. So Paul's writing to the church of, 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 of the Corinthians. Amen. In 2 Corinthians chapter 4, uh, starting with verse 1. And it says, therefore, since God in his mercy has given us this new way. Mm -hmm. Somebody say a new way. A new way. way. Amen. We're talking about our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ already. Amen. The new covenant in his blood. Amen. Mm -hmm. Because as you talked about walking uprightly. Amen. When God sees us walking uprightly, it's because he sees us covered by his son's blood. Come on. Because it's nothing that we can do in our own power and our own merit. Amen. Come on. To Come be on. upright before God. But it all starts with accepting his son, our Lord Come and on. Savior Jesus Christ. Amen. As our Savior. And God no longer sees us as we see one another in the flesh. He sees us as covered by his son's blood. Amen. Amen. So therefore, since God in his mercy has given us this new way, we never give up. Hmm. Amen. Amen. Did y'all see that on the screen? Yes. We never, somebody say we never give up. We never, never give, up. give up. Now remind yourself, I never give up. I never, I never give up. Just don't give up. Amen. If we were looking at this same verse in the King James Version of the Bible, it says, therefore, see, we have this ministry. Mm -hmm. See, this new way, this ministry. Mm -hmm. As we have received mercy, Amen. we faint not. Mm -hmm. Don't faint. Come on. Don't give up. Don't give in. Hallelujah. Stay on the battlefield. Stay in the fight. Come on. Stay in the race. Stay the race is not to the swift. Come on. And the battle, the fight is not to the strong. I heard you say that too. Praise God. We're not wrestling against flesh and blood. Come on. We're wrestling against spiritual wickedness in high places. Amen. Come on. Come on. Your, your battle is not with your brother or your sister. It's the spirit. They may have attached themselves to your brothers and your sisters. It's not them physically. Amen. That's why we pray in the spirit. Amen. Hear me in the spirit. Praise Amen. God. Amen. So therefore, see, we have this ministry. As we receive mercy, we faint not. Amen. May God add his blessing to the readers, hearers, and the doers of his word. As we have read thus far in 2 Corinthians chapter 4, verse 1. And our theme on today is never give up. You know, I heard a uh, fellow, Jim Balvano, his uh, basketball team just come to mind. I think it's North Carolina State. They came out of nowhere, rose up through the ranks in the NCAA tournament, and won the championship on the last second shot. Not only did they make it all the way through unmerited, but when they got to the championship, won. they won on the last play of the game. Yeah, yeah. Somebody shot and missed, and the big fellow there to tip it in, amen. And they won the game, and, and, and Jimmy Valvano, the coach, was the first. He was just running around all over the place. They still show it today. He probably been 30 years ago. 
They still show it, amen. But not long after that, Jim Valvano got sick, amen. And as he was going through, he still encouraged people all over the world by what his team had went through and then what he was going through. And I remember he kept saying, never, ever give up. Amen. Don't give up. Keep uh -huh. fighting. Stay in the race. Amen. Stay, the race. stay on the field. Stay on the court. Yes. Stay in the game. Yes. Huh? Stay in the war. Amen. Never, ever give up. Amen. Amen. And, and always remind yourself, this minor setback. Come on. It's just a setup. Come on. For my, come on, you saying it with me, Miss Brittany, for my major yeah, comeback. So we talk to ourselves up in here, amen? amen. This, this minor setback is oh, yes, it, just a setup uh -huh. for a major comeback, amen. amen? I'm not just coming back, amen? amen. I'm coming back better than ever. Hallelujah. The Bible says he can do exceeding abundantly above all I can ask or think, amen? The NIV says all I can ask or imagine. Come on. You can go above and beyond that. Amen. amen. And that's what he wants to do. Amen. Yeah, he said, I came for you to have life and that more yeah, abundantly. Yeah. Amen. So on, however on. high we aim, mm. come on. He can take you higher. God ready to go He's ready to go higher than come that. On, amen. He wants to He wants to outdo himself. Amen. Yeah. In your eyesight. Amen. What do we say? He shows up and he shows out. Oh, y'all preaching up in here. Amen. Yeah. Won't he do it? Hasn't he did it? Amen. amen. So you can tell somebody else. Come That's on. this ministry we have. Come on. We have this ministry. Uh -huh. These fragile clay jars and these earthen vessels. Amen. Yes, so yes. we can go and tell somebody. Amen. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know I couldn't do it in my might or my Come power. On. Amen. Come on. Amazing how God's grace can save a wretch like, like me. me. Amen. Yeah. Hallelujah. Hey. Hallelujah. Mm, thanks be to God. I heard her say, you don't even need no money. She said, there ain't enough to do nothing with no way. Amen. So see, sometimes we don't need no money. Come on. Because we got God's favor. Favor and grace. <laughs> now, I'm just going to let you meditate on that. Come right on. Woo, I didn't hear enough favors. Hallelujah. Come on. I know it's still early. Amen. Yes, I said Lord. I was going to run on. I'm trying to run. Amen. Amen. But God's favor, that's his, his undeserved grace. Uh -huh. Yes. Huh? Amen. Yes. Well, God calls you to have favor in someone else's eyesight to have just what you need. Amen. Come on. Amen. Listen, we know I got extra. Amen. Uh -huh. yeah, I'm going to give you Be this. Amen. 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 Praise God. And Come it's just on. what you yes. need. Yes, Come Lord. Mm. Yes, Lord. Thank you. <laughs> I got a little too much Jesus here. Have some. Amen. Amen. Praise Amen. God. My cup is running over. Amen. Right. Amen. Right. You, you, you ought to have some of this. Amen. Yeah. Amen. Praise God. Woo. Thank you. Don't God. give up. Amen. Thank you. Praise God. Praise Verse God. 2 of 2 Corinthians chapter 4 says, yes, We reject uh -huh. all shameful deeds and underhanded methods. Oh, Amen. Man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We, we, we don't have to trick nobody. Amen. All we got to do is call on the name of the Lord. The he said, Ask, and it shall be given. Be seek, you shall find. Knock, and the door shall be opened. Matthew 7 and 7. He said, Ask, seek, and knock. Amen. So we reject all shameful deeds because we got this ministry. Uh -huh. Amen. And because we receive mercy, uh -huh. then we give mercy. mercy. Amen. Yeah. Blessed are the merciful. Huh? They shall obtain mercy. Amen. Yes, Lord, Praise you. God. Yes. So we reject all shameful deeds and, and underhanded methods. Amen. We don't try to trick anyone. Amen. Or distort the word of God. We're not trying to put no twist on it. It is what it is. Mm -hmm. Praise Amen. God. He said, don't add or delete. And we, and it's good, isn't it a good thing you know we don't have to? Amen. We're not trying to change it to make it suit our needs. Say that, say Praise that. Praise God. Amen. We tell the truth before God. Amen. And all who are honest know this. Amen. See, the honest person knows all you got to do is tell the truth. Amen. Amen. We don't have to know no shameful acts or deeds. Amen. Amen. We don't try to trick nobody or twist or distort the word of God. We can just stand flat-footed and tell the truth. Amen. Amen. Matter of fact, I don't even have to be so loud. I can whisper a little bit. Amen. 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 All who are honest realize this. Amen. Um, yes. I don't even really need a full horn. Mm. Praise God. Praise God. I, I used to work with a fellow. You go in the office, you had to like, I really need to listen because he never talked any louder than this. And he always really had something to say. Amen. 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 He never talked loud enough to do this. Amen. Talk a little loud. Everybody need to hear this. No, I'm just talking to you right now. Amen. And that's the way God is. I'm just talking to you right now. Amen. 
<laughs> you ever feel like that, amen? Yeah. Yeah. I think not. I feel like that sometimes when I'm sitting out there when the word is going forth, it's God talking to me. Amen. 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 Praise amen. God. Amen. So verse 3 says, if the good news we preach is hidden behind a veil. Come on. And, you know, we're not going to go back and look at the chapter before, but it talks about when Moses came down from the mountain with his face shining. So, yes. And he realized that, that, that you know, it was the glory of God, mm -hmm. but he realized it was fading on his way down the mountain, mm -hmm. but he still had the glow, so he put a veil over his face. Uh -huh. So the people could see that he had the glow, but he knew the glow was kind of fading. But as long as he had that glow on him, Mm -hmm. All the, the fear of the Lord was amongst the people. Amen. Praise God. Like, wow, look at Moses' feet. Praise God. Right. So he realized it was kind of fading. He didn't want to know. So the Bible says he put a veil over his face. Amen. So now, 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 and, and see, Moses, you know, he brought the Ten Commandments. He told the people the truth. He told some things they didn't want to hear. Amen. So that, 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 uh, uh, that verse uh, uh, three before that, chapter three before that tells us that. If Moses came with some tough news, some hard news, on, and had a glow, uh -huh. how much more are we going to glow when we got some good news? Amen. Somebody grab a hold of that in the spirit. Amen. amen. How much more are we going to glow? And it, it says that. Amen. But I, I didn't really want to go back there. But that's, that's, how, that's why this verse is mentioned in this veil. If the good news we preach is hidden behind a veil, uh -huh. it's hidden only from people who are perishing. Hallelujah. People who are not trying to hear it. Because as we talk about the veil, we know the veil in the temple that separated the inner and outer courts was torn from top to bottom when our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ died on the cross. When he said it's finished, amen. And the ground began to shake and grave opened up and people got up and walked around. The Bible says and the veil in the temple was torn from top to bottom, signifying that man did not tear it, but that God tore it, separating the inner from the outer. And I heard him saying that too. We don't want to be on the outside looking in. Uh, it's better to be on the inside looking out. Yeah. Amen. 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 Praise God. It's better to be in Christ. See, if any man be in Christ, Amen. he's a new creation. Amen. Old things have passed away. Behold, all Amen. things are made new again. Yes, and since y'all brought it up, amen, yes, the Bible says God was in Christ Jesus, Jesus. reconciling the world to himself while he was on the cross. Uh -huh. See, he's that mediator, that go-to and a high priest. Yes. The Bible says God was in Christ Jesus, reconciling the world to himself, and therefore has given us this ministry. Uh -huh. This exactly. ministry. Did it say this ministry? Right. Of reconciliation. Be reconciled to God, be reconciled to one another. Amen. Amen. So the good news that we preach is hidden behind a veil, is hidden from those who don't want to hear it. Amen. Uh -huh. Those who are perishing. Verse 4 says, Satan who's the God of this world, has blinded the minds of those who don't believe. Amen. Come on, come on. Praise God. Satan will blind your mind. See, see, God said, I turn you over to a reprobate mind when you stay in opposition, when you stay in resistance, when you stay in unbelief. He said, himself, I'll make it so you can't understand. Mm. So you, you hear and won't understand and then you see it and won't be able to perceive. Amen. So Satan who, who who's in charge of this world and that's why so much chaos and confusion going on because God is not the author of confusion. Amen. When he says Satan he says woe to the inhabitants of the earth because Satan has been cast down and he knows he has but a short time so yeah he's stepping under his attack he's working real hard and he's working real fast. Jesus said but I came for you to have life and that more abundantly mm -hmm. so we have to grab a hold of the lifeline. Come on, come on, come on. Kind of like you do on the show when they run out of answers, amen, they say, well, I want to use my lifeline, amen. I want to amen. call somebody, amen. amen, see if I can get the answer, amen, so we're going to call on the Lord, amen. amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. So we, so they're unable to see the glorious light mm -hmm. of the good news. Yes. Back to the light again. Amen. Walk in the light, amen. Walk in the light. My son, Precious, way here on this morning. I think when he was up here giving a word uh, a couple weeks, a few months ago, he said, stay lit. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Keep your light on, amen. Let me say on the commercial, we'll leave the light on for you. Leave the light on for you. We'll leave the light on for you, amen. amen. This part light, praise God. Amen. So they are unable to see the glorious light of the good news. They don't understand this message about the glory of Christ who is the exact likeness of God. Amen. So the Bible says in heaven, they, we're not going to need no sun or no moon for the glory of God and the light of the Lamb is the light. How great is that light? That's what he said. Hmm? Yes, Lord. So, so, verse 5 says, so you see, we don't go around preaching about ourselves. Mm -hmm. We preach that Jesus Christ is Lord. Uh -huh. Amen. 
Come see, see, if I point you to the Savior, the Creator, amen, you're going to have better results. Hallelujah. Praise Hallelujah. God. We said He's the only one that can keep a promise. Yes, mm -hmm. yes, yes. He's the only one that can say, I'll never leave you nor forsake you. Mm -hmm. And do it. Amen. Hmm? We have good intentions. Yeah, we do. Amen. So we preach that Jesus Christ is Lord, and we ourselves are your servants. Huh? For Jesus' sake. Amen. See, Jesus' disciples start. One of the monks, they said, when Jesus said, I'm going to go to Jerusalem and be handed over to the hands of sinful men and be crucified and rise again on the third day, they forgot the third day part. Mm -hmm. They just heard him say he was going to be crucified. Amen. I'm telling you, they forgot the third day part. Amen. But uh, uh, again, the, the, his, his enemies heard, so they rolled a stone over the grave and set some guards to watch to make sure he didn't get out. Amen. Amen. But his disciples forgot because the Bible said that then they remembered what he had said. But they just heard him say he was going to be crucified. Amen. Mm -hmm. So they began to argue amongst themselves who's next in line. Mm -hmm. Who's in charge. Amen. Who's going to have the seat. Who's going to have the throne. Who's going to have the authority. Amen. But he said, hmm, who, whoever wants to be chiefest of all. Mm -hmm. Come on and preach with me. It's going to be the servant of all. Because the son of man came to serve. Amen. He came to serve. Amen. He didn't yeah. sit on the throne and, and, and tell everybody to wait on him. He waited on everybody. Hallelujah. He saw everybody else's needs. Amen. Praise God. So, so we're not preaching ourselves. Amen. Because we are just servants. Amen. For Jesus' sake. Amen. Hallelujah. That's what verse 5 says. Mm -hmm. We're just servants. Amen. Amen. I'm a servant of the Most High God. Amen. So if you want to be the chiefest of all, serve all. You put yourself in a position to serve all. You're not going to be served. Amen. Praise God. Verse 6 says, for God who was said, let there be light in the darkness. He wrote the light again. Let there be light. Amen. So the Bible says in the beginning, the earth was dark and void without form. And God said, come on, preach out. Let there be light. And the Bible said there was light. And His and, and, and has made this light shine in our hearts. Light shine in your heart. Uh -huh. That's why your face shines. Amen. Because you got the good news. Amen. I told you I feel it from up here where I'm at. And I'm thanking God. Amen. Oh, yeah. I just want you to know what I see. Amen. Amen. Praise God. So he, he he's called his light to shine in your heart. And I told you it gets so strong on the inside, it starts showing up on the outside. Amen. Whatever's in there is going to come out. Amen. 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 So we can know the glory of God that is seen in the face of Jesus Christ. Verse 6 of 2 Corinthians chapter 4. Now we have this light shining in our hearts. He's telling you again. Mm -hmm. You've got this light in your heart. Amen. amen. That's why Jesus said, let your light shine. Amen. In the midst of a dark, amen, a crooked and perverse nation. Amen. Let your light shine and men will see your good work and glorify the Father. Amen. We're not trying to get no glory. Amen. But we ourselves are like fragile clay jars containing this, containing this great treasure. We grabbing a hold of what we're saying now. Mm -hmm. The light, the glorious light, the power yes. of God is in you, in these yes. earthen vessels, mm -hmm. these fragile bodies that we have. Amen. Mm -hmm. that someday they feel good and someday they feel better. Amen. Amen. I heard her say, I got to watch what I'm saying. Uh -huh. right. Amen. So some days I feel good and some days I feel better. Uh -huh. Amen. Praise God. Amen. 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 I don't even want to say nothing else. Amen. Amen. <laughs> Praise Amen. God. Amen. Hallelujah, the power of life together is in my tongue. Amen. Amen. You gotta watch what I'm yes, saying. Lord, huh? So thank this you. makes it clear that our great power is from God. Yes. Yeah. This is how it's obvious. The power is from God. Amen. God. Amen. Not from Amen. ourselves. Yes. Praise God. Hallelujah. But we are pressed on every side by yes. trouble. Yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Huh? I don't even want to hang there too long. Mm. But just think about it. We pressed. On every side uh -huh. by, by trouble. Yeah. But we're not crushed. Come on. Come on. So don't give up. Don't give, up. don't give in. You're still breathing. Amen. Thank God. Hallelujah. Even though you've been crushed, you've been smashed, you've been pressed. Amen. But you're still here. Mm. Still here. Don't give up. See, sometimes when you get to your last breath, if you just give up, uh -huh. come on. Huh? That, that could be it. Hallelujah. But if you keep on fighting, Come on. Stay in the race. Come Stay on. the course. Don't give up. Come on. 
Fight for that one more breath. Like the baby when it amen. comes out of the womb sometime and they, they fight and they man to, to live on their own. Amen. Sometimes the doctor had to take them and, and give them a swat to wake them up and they start breathing on their own. Amen. Working on their own. Praise God, y'all. Praise with me. God. Y'all with me. I know you with me. Amen. We press on every side uh -huh. by trouble. Mm -hmm. All around, you see it every day you wake up. If, if, if you've got the heart to turn on the news, it gets worse. Amen. Amen. But we're not crushed. Come on. The things that's coming against you, this, this, you know. Come on. That's, the, the, you know, working against you. you. You said no weapon for them against me. Don't prosper. Amen. So, so even though it, it's trouble all around me, Amen. I'm not gonna give up. Because, mm. because I'm not crushed. Come on. Um, my spirit might be crushed a little bit, but I'm still breathing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I can take a deep breath. Amen. Because Amen. you know, if you ever like it's the ball of a bag, and it's just coming to me, Amen. You open up and blow in it. Uh huh. It was crushed, and you blow in it and expand back out. So I was crushed. Uh huh. Don't look at me like that, because now I'm all expanded up here. Amen. <laughs> that brother really expanded. Amen. <laughs> That's the, that's the treasure of God in me. Amen. Amen. Walk with me. Praise God. Hallelujah. We crushed on every side. Yes. We pressed on every side, but we're not crushed. Amen. Mm -hmm. We perplexed. Perplexed means we, 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 we bamboozle. We can't figure it out. We confused. Uh -huh. Amen. Uh -huh. Some things cause us confusion in our life. And we look at some things that happen, we get confused. Amen. Sometimes, sometimes in our ignorance, we say, how can God allow that to happen? Come on. Yeah. But then in our intellectual, our spiritual intelligence, we know that Romans 8, 28 tells us that all things are working together for good. Amen. God knows. Who they who love, love the Lord, Lord. they would call according to his purpose. So even in the bad, there's some good. Come on, mm -hmm. man. God knows. Amen. Let your neighbor know God knows. God knows. So never give up. Amen. Never ever give up. So 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 we perplex, but we're not driven to despair. Amen. Oh, it's not so bad that I just give up. I'm uh -huh. just gonna throw in the towel. Mm -hmm. And I look up and it come back at me. Amen. And I said, No, you ain't finished yet. Come on. You still got work to do. Yeah, you, got work. you threw in the towel, amen. But I, I I'm not having it. Come on, Praise man. God. I'm breathing back in you. Amen. Amen. Praise God. I'm going to broaden your horizon, expand yeah. your horizon. I, I believe that's what Jabez prayed. Pray. Amen. Pray the prayer of Jabez, enlarge our territory. Mm -hmm. Amen. Yeah. Keep your hands up on us. Keep me from evil and from pain. Amen. Or from causing yeah. pain. Praise God. Amen. Amen. The prayer of Jabez. Amen. Thank you, Holy Ghost. So so we perplexed, but we're not in despair. Amen. Amen. We, 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 we hunt it down. Mm -hmm. They hunt us down, amen. But we never abandoned by God. Talk to what's nipping at your heels, who's chasing you around, who's after you. God haven't abandoned you. He's still right there, amen. amen. And whatever's coming after you won't prosper, amen. We get knocked down. It says, I got knocked down, but I didn't get knocked out. Come on, come on. See? I got knocked down, but I didn't get knocked out. Hallelujah. I didn't get knocked out of the race. I didn't get knocked out of the fight. Amen. I got back up. Amen. We fall down, but we get back up. Amen. Amen. But in this case, I didn't fall. I got knocked down. Uh huh. But I got back up. Why? Glory to God. Up. Amen. Amen. And when I got knocked down, I didn't just faint. Say it. It's over. No. Amen. I got back up because I felt something. I said, get up. Huh? The victory belongs to you, amen. amen. Victory I just told y'all, amen, the, the, the team entered into the tournament that had one of the worst chance of everybody, amen, and one by one, mm -hmm. play by play, bucket by bucket, defense by defense. Uh -huh. huh? They rose to the occasion each and every time right down to the championship game. The last play, the other team thought they had it won and celebrated. Seconds left, Amen. And the fella shot the ball, and his team, he shot the ball, and his teammate who hadn't did a whole lot in the game, but he was the big fella on the team, went right up and tipped it in. All of a sudden, he was the hero of the whole tournament. Come on. Huh? Is he right? Had he did a whole lot, amen? But he tipped in the winning shot. He's the hero, amen? Come on, Praise God. That's the way God's at work in your life. Yes. We get knocked down, but we're not destroyed. Come on. We get back up. Amen. Mm -hmm. So through suffering, our bodies continue to share in the death of Jesus, the suffering servant. He said, you're going to have trials and tribulations, but be in good cheer because I've already overcome them. So 
So you're overcoming more than conquer through Christ Jesus. So you don't give up. You don't faint. You don't give in. You stay in the race. You stay in the battle. You stay in the war. Because you know in the end, you win. Amen. The Bible says, thanks be to God who gives us the victory through our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. We are overcomers and more than conquerors. Amen. And I'm fully persuaded that nothing can separate us from the love of God that always causes us to triumph. Yeah. Whatever it is. Just don't give up. Uh -huh. Never, ever give up. So through suffering, our bodies continue to share in the death of Jesus so that the life of Jesus may be seen in our body. So as we go going through and the way that we go through, others see it, amen, and they see the light that you keep even in the darkest hour. You still got light. You still got hope. You don't give up. You don't give in. Then they say, you know what? There must be a God. Hallelujah. There must be a God. Huh? So others can see. Sometimes you going through so somebody else can see the God in you, the glory of God in you. Amen. So the light is on you because you going through, but the light in you is going to shine on our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. It's going to shine back up to God. Amen. From whence from he comes. Yes. Thank you, Jesus. Yes. We live under constant danger of death. Because we serve Jesus. Amen. Mm -hmm. So Paul speaking on their behalf, but we find ourselves in this day and time Come living on. under the constant danger of death. But we're not worried about it. Come on. See, we don't worry like the world worry. Amen. We trying to go get this and go get that. Our weapons of warfare are not carnal. They're not guns and knives and sticks and stones. It's not none of that. But Come it's on. mighty Come through on. God to pull down strongholds. Hallelujah. Yeah. Cast down imagination and every yeah. wicked thought that's trying to come against you. Amen. Our weapons of warfare. Come on, come on. Mm -hmm. Prayer. Hallelujah. Supplication. Yeah. With thanksgiving, yeah. let your request be made yeah. known unto God. Yeah. Come on. And the God of peace, amen, will give you the peace that passes all understanding in the midst of the storm, in the midst of the trial, in the midst of the tribulation, in the midst of the trouble, amen. In the midst of the perplexity, amen. In the midst of the despair, amen. Hallelujah. So we live in the face of death. Mm -hmm. It says, we, that was verse 11, said we live under constant danger of death Hallelujah. because we serve Jesus. So that the life of Jesus will be evident in our dying mm -hmm. Amen. Huh? Amen. So we live in the face of death, verse 12 says. Yeah, yeah. But this has resulted in eternal life for you. Mm -hmm. So we go through so somebody else can see God. Amen. We go through so somebody else can see Jesus in us. We go through so somebody else can see the light of God, the glory of God in us and on us. Amen. We go through. Amen. But we thank God he gives us the victory in our trial, yes, in our tribulation, in our trouble, in our despair, in our perplexity. We let our light shine. Yes, Lord. Verse 13 said, but we continue to preach. Yes. I ain't got to the because yet. Mm -hmm. We continue to preach. Hallelujah. See, you continue to preach, amen. When you keep praising God, you preaching, amen. Uh -huh. When you don't give up, you preaching, amen. You praising God when you don't faint, amen. You preaching when you don't faint. You preaching when you don't give up. You preaching when you don't give in. You preaching when you stay in the fight. You preaching when you stay in the race. You preaching when you stay in the game. You preaching when you stay in the court. You preaching when you keep the faith. You preaching, amen. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The best sermons are seen and not heard. Come on. But we continue to preach because we have the same kind of faith that the psalmist said when he said, I believe in God. Uh -huh. So I speak. That's why I'm speaking, amen. I'm not ashamed of the gospel, amen. I believe every word that the Bible says, amen. amen. It says I'm preaching or teaching or whatever I'm doing right out of the Bible. I believe every word I'm saying. Hallelujah. Amen. And I believe that that's why I'm sharing. Amen. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. Verse 14 says, and we know that God mm -hmm. I, I, I just kind of blew up. We know. Mm -hmm. See, it's good to know. Come on. Amen. It's good to know. Amen. We know that God uh -huh. who raised the Lord Jesus. Come on. He did raise him from the dead. Uh -huh. we, uh, we, we said it earlier. He told his, his, his disciples, I'm going to Jerusalem. They're going to kill me, but I'm going to get up again. Amen. But the Bible said they forgot. Amen. And they were somewhere shaking and scared. Amen. And the women got up and ran down to anoint his body. Mm -hmm. yeah. 
Uh, and the angel told him, why are you looking for a, a living amongst the dead? Come on. He's risen. Go tell the, his Come disciples. On. Amen. He's risen. Amen. Yeah. And the Bible says, then they believed. Come on. Come on. They ran down to the tomb. They looked in. Somebody wasn't there. The Bible said, then they remembered what he had said. Yeah. That the tomb, death, grave, can't hold me. Mm. Huh? So we know that God who raised the Lord Jesus will, will also raise us with Jesus. Yes. Here goes God's promise. And present us to himself together with you. Amen. And we know on that great day, the day that Christ going to rise first, then we that are alive and remain. We talk to believers right come now. On, on. We'll be caught up together. So shall we ever be. Ever means forever. Eternal life with God in the clouds. Amen. Amen. Verse 15 says, all of this is for your benefit. Amen. The suffering, the perplexity, the going through, the hunting down, all this is for your benefit. All our trials is for somebody else's benefit. Amen. Come on. That they might see the light, the glory of God in us. Amen. Amen. And as God's grace reaches more and more people, Come on. there it is, his undeserved favor. Amen. I, I, I don't have the earthly treasures, amen, but I have the treasures of God in this earthen vessel, amen, amen. amen. praise God, praise God, hallelujah, the King James said we have this treasure in earthen vessels, amen, amen. And, and, and today we, the uh, New Living calls us fragile clay jars, amen, we have this treasure of God in us, amen, amen. and sometimes we just don't need money, because we got God's grace, amen, amen. praise God, and as God's grace reaches more and more Thank people, you. Through you, through your ministry, because you. you have this ministry, mm -hmm. amen, to go and let your light shine, amen. to be reconciled to one another, be reconciled to God first, reconciled to one another. Since we have this ministry, that's what we started in verse 1, amen, amen. that there will be great thanksgiving as, as we go out. As we share the good news, as we don't give up, we don't give in, we don't faint, we tell somebody, amen, we live it, amen, we walk it like we're talking, walk it like we're talking, amen, there will be great thanksgiving and God will receive more and more glory, Come on. all glory to God, we put that we say, I promise, see here we go with a promise. I promise to give all glory, honor, and praise back to you in Jesus' name. So verse 16 says, this is why we never give up. It's a whole lot of stuff. We can't give up. We're going to win anyway. Don't give up. Don't give in. Somebody else's salvation. Somebody else's uh, 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 life depends on you and how you go through. Amen. This is why we never give up. Though our bodies are dying. Huh? Our spirits are being renewed every day. King James verse says, though the outward man is perishing, the inward man is being renewed and empowered mm -hmm. by the glory of God, by the spirit of God every day. Because hmm? mm -hmm. the body, the fragile clay jar is going back to the dust from whence it came. Uh -huh. But the inward person is being renewed day by day, so much so that when God says time is up, come on. The spirit, the soul of a man, a woman, a boy, a girl rises up and goes on to be with the Lord. Come on. As the body goes back to the dust Come from on. which it came. So you have to understand, I'm a spirit with a soul that lives in a body. The body's not going to live forever, but the soul is. And what I do with the spirit of God determines where my soul is going to reside mm -hmm. in eternity. Amen. Heaven or hell. So I don't give up on God. I don't give up on the promises of God. We don't give up on God. We don't give up on the promise of God. The fact that he promised us, whosoever believes on his son shall have everlasting life. That's what he said. Mm -hmm. So the grace of God reaches more and more people. There'll be great thanksgiving. God will receive more and more glory. This is why we don't give up. Even though our bodies are dying, we're going through, our spirit is being renewed every day by the power of God. So verse 16 says, for which cause, you say we faint not? Mm -hmm. Is that what it says? Yeah. For which cause, we don't faint. Hallelujah. Yeah. Don't fall out. Don't give up. Don't yeah. give in. Amen. Yeah. You yeah. might fall down, but don't faint. Come on. Come on. You fall down, you're in yeah. good praying yeah. position. Yeah. Amen. I heard that earlier. Amen. Yeah. For which cause, we don't faint. Yeah. 
Though our outward man perishes, yet the inward man is renewed day by day. Amen. Yes. For our present trouble yes. are small. Hmm? Yes. This minor setback is a setup for my major, you can say it out loud, for my major comeback. Amen. To talk to yourself. Amen. Yes. Speak the word of God. See, here it is right here. It, verse 17 says, our present troubles are small and won't last very long. Huh? Yet they produce for us a glory that vastly outweighs. I told you. Huh? We told you. This minor setback mm -hmm. is just a setup for your major comeback. Amen. Your, your, this, this, this present troubles are small mm -hmm. and won't last very long. Mm -hmm. They're small, amen, yet they produce for us a glory that vastly outweighs them. Mm -hmm. Hmm? The victory outweighs the, the, the battle. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. The victory outweighs the, the struggle. Come on. The battle. The victory. Amen. Amen. I told you when that last shot went in, everybody just ran out on the... Wait a minute. You did that too one day, didn't you? Praise God. 0.8 seconds left on the clock. I, I, I'm sorry, y'all. It happened. It happened in real life. That's right. We saw that on TV. Good amen. We, we sitting in the stand. We saw 0.8 seconds. 0 .8 amen. Seconds. He made the shot. Amen. Praise God. Matter of fact, you rode the bench most of the game because you was in foul trouble. <laughs> Brother was following. Amen. Had to sit down. But at the end of the game, like, wait a minute. Check in. Because you're the last one they're going to be looking for. Uh -huh. Praise God. Got made the shot. But the point that I'm making that when the shot went in, everybody just started running around celebrating the same way. Everybody celebrated. See, the angels in heaven rejoice when one gets saved. See, that's the kind of celebration that I'm talking about. Amen. Everybody just running to celebrate. Amen. I started asking people, well, well who's you rooting for? I didn't know neither one of them. I just saw the basket go in, and I'm happy. I had not seen nothing like that. Amen. Everybody was happy. Amen. It wasn't no who won, who lost. Everybody's just happy over the picture. Rejoice. We see Bible said we should rejoice when others rejoice. Yes, Amen. Yes. Amen. Yes, Lord. So they produce a, a glory that outweighs the struggle that we went through. Mm -hmm. We go through struggles. We go through trial. We press. Amen. But we're not crushed. Amen. Mm -hmm. We get knocked down, but we're not destroyed. Amen. Mm -hmm. We're perplexed. Amen. But, but uh, we don't give up. Amen. Mm -hmm. We never, ever give up. Mm -hmm. We're perplexed, but we're not in despair. Because we don't give up. Mm -hmm. We stay in there because we know if there's 0.8 seconds left on the clock, 0.3 seconds left on the clock, it's still time on the clock. Yes, Lord. Tell your neighbor, it's still time on the clock. It's still time on the clock. It's still time on the clock. Don't give up. You got a chance to win. Amen? Amen. And that's the way God keeps it. Amen. You always have a chance. Amen. A fighting chance. Just don't yes. give up. Hmm? So we don't look at the troubles we can see now. Come on. Verse 18. We don't look at the troubles we see now. And I heard you saying that. We look past that. Amen. We look past what's going on around us. Amen. 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 We, we, we look out. Amen. We're not looking at. We're looking out. Come Amen. On. So we can see. Amen. Amen. The whole for it. Come on. We're not just focusing on one tree. Come on. We don't look at the troubles we can see now. Rather, we Amen. fix our gaze on things that cannot be seen. Hallelujah. Huh? Thank you, Jesus. I lift up my eyes. Mm. I lift them up, amen, and, and I look for the glory of God. I, I see the sun, the moon, the star, and not the trouble all around me, and I know that he hung them all there by amen. himself, and the Bible says he can call them all by name, amen. each and every one of them. It says he can tell you the number of stars in the sky and Come call on, them God. by name, Come on. and he sees to it that not one of them is lost. Mm -hmm. That's the kind of God we serve. So as we remember these things, we don't give up. We don't yeah. faint. We fix our sight on heaven where Jesus seated at the right hand of God. And if we have enough glory of God, enough spirit of God in us, as Stephen did when he was about to be stoned for preaching the gospel to those that ran up on the Bible, said they gnashed on him with their teeth because they asked him what, uh, about the, the, his faith or whatever this is. He's running around preaching and teaching. And the Bible said he went all the way back to the beginning and preached all the way up to the crucifixion of Jesus. 
Yeah. It told them that you, you and your father crucified our Lord. And the Bible said they got mad and ran up on him, gnashed on him with their teeth. They were so angry and took him out and stoned him. And the Bible says as he was being stoned, he looked up, he gazed up. And he saw Jesus standing at the right hand of the Father. Not seated, standing. He even got up now and said, preach, Stephen, preach. And said, Father, don't lay this to the charge. Forgive them. They don't know what they're doing. This is our ministry. For the things that we see now will soon be gone. But the things that we cannot see last forever. Amen. So while we're looking at the outward man that's perishing, God is looking at the inward man that's being renewed day by day. Man sees the outward appearance, God sees the heart. And when he sees his son, our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ, in our heart, and we glorify him in our heart and our body, God says, this is my beloved son, this is my beloved daughter, in whom I am well pleased, my mm -hmm. beloved servant. Praise God. Praise God. Amen. Amen. So if you believe the report that you heard on today, never ever give up. Hallelujah. Amen. Don't faint. Stay in the fight. Stay in the race. Stay the course. Yes, Lord. As the ship was a, was about to break apart, and Paul had told him not to sail this time of the year because the waters are treacherous. But they was in such a hurry to drag Paul to jail, they sailed out anyway to take him to jail. Bible said the ship began to break apart. Come on. And it was ready to abandon the ship. Paul said, stay the course. Not one life will be lost. Not one. And the Bible said the ship broke up. Everybody had to grab a piece of wood and float to shore. But like he said, not one life. Chapter 10, verse 9 and 10 says, Confess with your mouth that Jesus is Lord. Mm -hmm. Because you believe in your heart, God raised him from the yes, dead. Yes, you Lord. shall be saved. Yes. From whatever it is that's pressing on you, that's coming against you, that's perplexing you, that's knocking you down, you shall be saved from the present evils of this world. Mm -hmm. For with the heart we believe, and with the mouth we confess to the saving of our soul. Mm. To the saving of our very life, if you believe the report, then let us pray a prayer of faith that says, Father God, Father God, I know who your son is. I know who your son is. I acknowledge your son. I acknowledge your son. His name is Jesus. His name is Jesus. Lord Jesus. Lord Jesus. You're the Lord of my life. You're the Lord of my life. Forgive me for my sins. Forgive me for my sins. I believe that you were born. I believe that you were born. I believe that you died for my sins. I believe that you died for my sins. I believe that your blood covers my sins. I believe that your blood covers my sins. And I believe you got up from the grave. And I believe you. Got up from the grave. All power in your hand. With all power in your hand. I ask you to come into my heart. I ask you to come into my heart. Come into my mind. Come into my mind. Come into my soul. Come into my soul. Come into my spirit. Come into my spirit. And live your life through me. And live your life through me. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Thank you, Lord Jesus. For coming into my heart. For coming into my heart. In your precious name, Jesus, I pray. In your precious name, Jesus, I pray. Let every heart be clear. Amen. 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 Somebody out. Thank God for this ministry. Amen. This treasure and this fragile clay jar, because the power comes from God and not from us. We never ever give up. Amen. We don't give in. We don't fail. This is the first Sunday of the month of June, year twenty twenty two of our Lord, where we acknowledge. Uh, body and the blood of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ through the taking of the Holy Communion. Amen. The Lord said the same will call our officers forward. We thank God for the hands that prepare the communion, the hands that will distribute it, and each and every one that will protect
take in the name of Jesus. Amen. 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 Paul said in 1 Corinthians chapter 11, Psalm verse 23, he said, I received of the Lord that which also I'm given unto you. That the Lord Jesus, the same night when he was betrayed, took the bread, and when he had given thanks, he broke it and said, Take, eat, this is my body which is broken for you. This do in remembrance of me. After the same manner also he took the cup, and after his sup, saying, This cup is the New Testament, the new ministry in my blood. Drink this as often as you do in remembrance of me. For as often as you eat this bread and you drink this cup, you do recognize the Lord's death until he comes. Wherefore, whosoever shall eat this bread and drink this cup of the Lord unworthily shall be guilty of the body and blood of the Lord. So let a man examine himself, and so let him eat of that bread and drink of that cup. For whosoever eateth and drinketh unworthily, that means without acknowledging the Lord, eateth and drinketh damnation to himself. It's for this cause that there are many weak and sickly among you. For we would judge ourselves, we should not be judged. For we are judged, we are disciplined by God, Amen. and we will not be condemned with the rest of the world. So we come together to eat, we wait for one another, and if anyone is physically hungry, let him eat at home. Amen. And we come together not unto condemnation, and the rest will be set in order when our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ returns. Amen. 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 God bless y'all. Amen. I know it was the blood. I know it was the blood. I know it was the blood for me. One day when I was lost, he died upon the cross. And I know it was the blood for me. I know it was the blood. I know it was the blood. I know it was the blood for me. One day when I was lost, he died upon the cross, and I know it was the blood for me. It was my Savior's blood. It was my Savior's blood. It was my Savior's blood for me and for you. One day when I was lost, he died upon the cross, and I know it was the blood for me. God, we thank God, amen. amen. We do this in remembrance of that sacrifice. Yes, Lord. His blood that came streaming down yes. the body that was nailed to the cross. Yes. Amen. And we do this as often as we do this in remembrance of you. Praise amen. God. Praise we're going to ask God to bless the body and blood of our Lord and Savior. We pray, pray, give us the break. Let us pray again. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done. On earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever. Amen. The symbolic of the body that was spread wide yes, Lord. and hung high. Yes. Amen. Amen. Let us eat. Symbolic of the blood that came streaming down to cover us, that cleanses us. And we always hold up high to remember, I'm covered by the blood. 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 Covered by the blood.
offering and delivery. And we just thank God that you decided to come here with us. And, uh, we touch the green and thank you. You want to say anything?
want to say black boots, but you got to say black boots. Hey, come on. That's right. Second of all, thank you for having me here. Thank you for the ministry. Um, thank you. Praise God. Thank you. 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 Wonderful news. Oh, amazing. I, I, you yeah. know, before the pandemic, I, I felt like I had a handshake ministry. I felt like I had to touch and agree with people. And when you were speaking, I almost wanted to like touch you on the shoulder, but I don't want to break your flow. Come on, man. Like you said, sometimes we don't want to like, because you had a flow going. I thank God. Amen. Amen. You shared that with us. All the way from Chicago? Yes. yes. Amen. Praise God. Oh, Thank you, God. Amen. 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 I told you I can feel the power of the Lord. I can put them on to the Lord in the room. And again, I thank God. Amen. See, sometimes people say, well, I didn't feel no Holy Ghost. Well, you got to bring it with you. Come on. Ah, bring it with you. Amen. amen. You can bring it with you. Praise amen. God. Amen. <laughs> That's a personal problem. That's a personal problem. Amen. 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 How is not the church of Paul? That's a person you ought to bring it with you. Amen. Amen. I told you, I felt like I had enough to share. Amen. <laughs> Amen. I told you that from the beginning. So thank God for you sharing that. Amen. 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 That's your daughter. It's your daughter, God Amen. bless you. God Amen. bless the young people. Amen. Amen. I heard I heard you say you, you have a ministry for the young people when you yeah. listen to them. Amen. Because sometimes we just don't know what they're going through. Amen. Amen. And we need to be able to listen. So we thank Amen. God. See, you in the right place because I think we agree with everything you say. Amen. I think everybody in here agrees with everything. That we feel the same way. Hallelujah. <coughs> and Jesus said, I got some sheep from some other fold. You said it's not a denominational guideline, denominational barriers. Amen. Amen. Because I got sheep from other fold. We come together. It's going to be one fold. Right. So we thank God for your testimony. We thank God. We'll be praying for you. Amen. Yes, Lord. Church have a name. Um, actually, it's not a church. <laughs> it's the assembly? Um, I don't know what they're doing. Okay, amen, amen, amen. See, he, gave, see, he, he, he gave us open door ministry, amen. 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 And he said, I'm the door. Not you, brother, man. Because there's other churches who come and form their own services in the, the house. Four churches come in the same building for an hour and they teach the word of God. Different denominations. We're going to be praying for Miss Suzanne. And, and the, uh, uh, the, the assembly with yes, which she's affiliated with Amen. in the name of Jesus because we need it. The world needs it. Amen. Amen. We recognize that. He said, if my people, Amen. y'all know what he said. We're about to take up our offering. Amen. But while we're preparing to, to, to give uh, our tithes and our offerings, amen, he said, if my people who are called by my name shall humble themselves and pray and seek my faith and turn from their wicked ways, he said, then will I hear from heaven, forgive their sins, and heal the land. Hallelujah. And I'm, I'm glad you said what you said because I feel the same way. If God gives you something to say, I'm not going to quench the spirit of God and tell you you can't say it. Amen. 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 Folks in here know that. Amen. That if Amen. God gives them something to say, I'm going to let them say it. Yes. Praise Amen. God. And, and I pray that, that uh, and I, I like what you said. You said a lot of times that people just, with the gifts sit in the back. Amen. <laughs> <laughs> Praise Amen. God. But if you feel some kind of way, amen, you feel like you, you don't, you know, that's okay. Amen. Because I feel it too. Amen. I do it. Amen. Amen. I might sit in the front, I might sit in the back. I, I might not sit in the same place every time. Amen. We're like move around, move a target, it's harder to hit. <laughs> Praise God. Praise, Praise God. God. Praise God. But again, we do. I thank God for all the words that you share. I thank God for each and every one. We ask God to bless the gifts as well as the giver. And we prepare for the giving and receiving of our tithes and our offering. And we know no matter how hard we try, we can't be God given. The more we give, the more He gives to us. Amen. Hallelujah. We're going to give. He said, give it and be given back to you. Pressed down, shaking together, and running over. Oh, praise, praise God. Praise so, again, we thank God for these that are able to give physically here in the sanctuary, those that are giving uh, electronically through Cash App, ODM, donations. Amen. Yeah. Uh, uh, Venmo is open door ministries with an underscore yeah. between the words. Amen. We do have a P.O. Box 46221 in Kansas City, Missouri, 64134, Open Door Ministries. As the Lord says the same, however you see fit to give, whatever you see fit to give, the main thing is recognize God loves a cheerful giver. Amen. amen. So we don't give grudgingly. Amen. And, uh, again, we don't give out of habit, but it can become habit forming. Amen. 
Amen. And we see how God blesses us. So Amen. Praise God. Praise God. Amen. And, and we do believe in confessing the word of God. So again, we ask that God to bless everybody's gift from far and near, however they give, whatever God places in their heart to give. Amen. 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 We want to bless it by confessing the word of God. Amen. Amen. And you can repeat after me. Because I am a cheerful giver. Because I am a cheerful giver. And God is faithful to his word. And God is faithful to his word. There is meat in God's house. There is meat in God's house. Because I am a cheerful giver. Because I am a cheerful giver. And God is faithful to his word. And God is faithful to his word. He rebukes the devourer for my sake. He rebukes the devourer for my sake. Because I am a cheerful giver. Because I am a cheerful giver. And God is faithful to his word. And God is faithful to his word. He opens up the windows of heaven. He opens up the windows of heaven. And pours out blessings on me. And pours out blessings on me. There shall not be room enough to receive. There shall not be room enough to receive. Because I am a cheerful giver. Because I am a cheerful giver. And God is faithful to his word. And God is faithful to his word. All the people of this world call me blessed. All the people of this world call me blessed. I'm blessed coming in. I am blessed coming in. And I'm blessed coming out. And I'm blessed coming out. I am the head. I am the head. And not the Tail. And not to tell above only, above only, and not beneath, and not beneath. I'm not in poverty. I'm not in poverty. I am in prosperity. I am in prosperity. My abundance is a supply. My abundance is a supply for those who are in lack. For those who are in lack, I have more than enough. I have more than enough. All my needs are met. All my needs are met. All my bills are paid. All my bills are paid. I owe no man anything. I owe no man anything. Except to love him. Except to love him. Jesus has come. Jesus has come. To give me this kind of life. To give me this kind of life. And that more abundantly. And that more abundantly. The Lord is my shepherd. The Lord is my shepherd. I shall not want. I shall not want. I prosper in everything I do. I prosper in everything I do. If you believe it, shout hallelujah. 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 Amen. Amen. You can. Be God-giving, no matter how you try. The more you give, the more he gives to you. Just keep on giving, because it's really true that you can be God-giving, no matter how you try. the gifts as well as the giver, 30, 60, 100, even a thousand fold in the name of Jesus. We pray, Father God, recognize that we'll be used for the further development of the black kingdom. And we thank you right now in Jesus' name. Amen. 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 Praise God. Praise God. Hallelujah. We thank God. Amen. God bless you, Miss Suzanne. Give Miss Suzanne a card over there. See if you can pray for open door ministry. What's your daughter's name? Anastasia. Anastasia. It's like resurrection of Anastasia in Greek. Amen. Hallelujah. Nice to meet you. Love y'all. God bless you. God bless the food on the fellowship bar. Amen. For the nourishing of our body. Help yourself on the way out. Anastasia and Miss Suzanne. Love y'all. Anything else before we dismiss? Mm -hmm. God's eyesight? Mm -hmm. No, we did not. Thank you. See, don't sit on it. Praise Amen. God. Jude 24 25. Amen. Now unto him who is able to keep you from falling and present you as faultless before the presence of his glory with exceeding joy to the only wise God, our Savior, be glory and majesty. Dominion and power, both now and forever. Amen. Amen. Praise God. Happy birthday to June birthday. Amen. Amen. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday. June birthday. Amen. 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 Hallelujah. Birthday. Yesterday I think Aaron had a birthday. Amen. Birthday.
day is still coming up. Praise God. Praise Hallelujah. God. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. Every day is a birthday.